In the mind of a troubled woman, <laughs> nightmare replaces reality. <laughs> and reality seems like a dream. Having those dreams again. And when the police don't believe you, we got other cases, cases that actually have real bodies. And your therapist thinks you're insane. She hasn't been able to make any real friends because of her unfortunate condition. The line between what's real and what isn't becomes even more blurred. You don't just respond to a murder call and then leave on doctor's orders. I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist. You son of a bitch! You told him my father used to rape me? Alone, you're vulnerable. Get your hands off me. Alone, you're terrified. Oh. Alone, you question your own sanity. Please don't leave me alone. You're the only person I can trust right now. So whatever you do, don't sleep alone. that you may humbly confess your sins. So does that mean I tell you a secret? Of course. The seal of the confessional is sacred. I rob banks. Most of what I rob people in their lives. I don't even know when it all started. But I know God ain't gonna forgive me. Then why are you here? Because ah! I want his blessing. And not for me, for, for my girl, Helen. Getting married. She didn't really ask for any of this. She's a good girl. I just want her to be happy. There is no greater happiness than comes from marriage, but this union will only bring unhappiness to you both. Unless you make amends for the sins that you have confessed to me today. Well, in that case, there's one more sin I forgot to tell you about, Father. Yes, my son. Abraham as Al Capone, one of the greatest gangsters of all time. prisoner colony in a remote outpost of the galaxy. Escape was supposed to be impossible. But now the ultimate fugitive is heading to Earth to challenge his skills. And for the streets of Los Angeles, the impossible has become a reality. Star Hunter. When a group of unsuspecting students take a wrong turn... Are you sure we're headed the right way? ...they come face to face with a vicious hunter in search of its most elusive prey. I'm not leaving anybody alone in this neighborhood. An enemy disguised as a friend. Hello? Locked inside an invisible barrier, they become unwilling participants in a deadly game of relentless pursuit. <laughs> if we can't run, we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> Driven by fear, their only hope is a mysterious force they can neither see nor understand. The hunt is on. Pure instinct. 
Quick, get it. How can he hunt? He's blind. Draw force. <laughs> Unstoppable defensive. It's survival of the fittest in a battle against the unknown. Starring Roddy McDowell and Stella Stevens. Prepare for the coming. Star Hunter. An international terrorist is tracked to Los Angeles. Kyle Connors, an agent of Interpol, stalks his elusive prey. But when his nemesis gets the upper hand, and his partner is killed, Connors embarks on a deadly mission of vengeance. He finds himself a stranger in a strange land, from the most lavish palaces of India to its criminal underground. Why are you following me? You're under arrest. Stranded in a world of mystery. He could jeopardize everything. If he needs to be killed, I'll do it myself. What makes you think that you're so special? Danger lurks behind every corner. You are a very persistent man. Alone, Connors must fend for himself. The excitement is red hot. The exotic. The erotic. The lethal. Don the Dragon Wilson. Tony McClure, Evan Laurie. Very impressive. Sometimes I have to kill people that I like. Every job's got its drawbacks, right? I did 13 years of big city emergency. You know what the problem is? Drugs. Get her! Overdoses. Stop it! Leave her alone! Please don't let him take me! No. Die right here! <laughs> no! Because no matter how much work I did in the ER, I couldn't touch the root of the problem. No! That's when the solution hit me. Dr. Jack Davies tended to the problem, not the solution. This one's for the wounding, this one's for the killing. Turner supports your covert games because we let him smuggle drugs. It's in the briefcase. The names of every politician, narc, banker that I have ever made payoffs to. I'm the guy shot, remember? You're one fucking unlucky dead man. You can save my life, get me out of here. Turner's gonna kill you, Jack. That is if someone else doesn't get to you first. I don't know who you are. I'll find you, and I'll kill you myself. Who the hell are you? That's a good question. Jeff Wincott. Michelle Johnson. I have a chance here to do something that makes a difference. tradition of the greatest adventures on the high seas comes a story about a rescue. You almost died from cold. We fix. Very well. About a man. Ah. Oh, the wolf go. He's killing that guy. And a boy. How is it I find you bobbing along with your court rest? They planted a bomb on my boat, sir. I'll be happy to pay you whatever it costs to get me on shore as soon as possible. Plus $5,000 for your trouble. Will that be cash or check? Come on, sir. Don't, oh, come on, me, boy. Remember one thing. You owe your life to me. Jack London's immortal classic, The Sea Wolf. If you really think it's better to rule in hell than serve in heaven, you've totally misread Milton. Forget Milton. If you think you could even survive without your cash, you haven't read Darwin. Fits you perfectly, doesn't it? Survival of the fittest, might is right. The big ones eat the little ones. The lucky ones eat the most and live the longest, but eventually, all are eaten. I'm gonna decorate him. When are you gonna step into life, son? You want Cookie off your back? Throw him off. You want your money? Take it. You want my woman? Take her, if you can. I was wondering if you could...
could get me a knife. Jason Simmons and Stacy Keach. Toss him over. As the Sea Wolf. You gotta learn a lesson, learn it fast. Sir, he can't take this now. Go! In a story about a man's struggle with his destiny. Do not sleep, neither am I. Go get your stuff. With any luck, we'll hit shore in a few days. You have a long term? I fucked the guys for drugs. You think I wouldn't fuck it up for life? It's a story legends are made of. How did he find us? You're gonna wish you'd kill me, because when I go, I'm taking you two with me. From the man who brought you the call of the wild comes another unforgettable story, The Sea Wolf, based on the novel by Jack London. Why are you moving me? 
Lord, Commander, we are approaching a planet most suitable for the hunt. Good. What planet? It is known as Earth. Prepare the Star Hunter. By your command. Hey, Pitcho. What? It's just a game. It's just another loss. It's not worth it winning or lose, you know. <laughs> you almost said that with a straight face, man. Come on, we're going to miss the bus. We already missed it. What? Team bus was full. We're catching a ride with Miss Marsh. You're kidding, Miss Marsh? What, look like I'm kidding? Hey, Coop, think fast. Way to go, dick. to say we lost this is we crap we didn't even get a chance to play the team lost all we did was park our asses on the bench i'm sensing a little bit of hostility from you jenny football calm down back there we all lost carrie can you come help me with the map please what do we do make a wrong turn yeah something like that doesn't it occur to you guys that we're really not even on the team? Hell, we don't even get the ride on the team bus. The bus with all the cute cheerleaders on it. Sit on it, Spivak. The team bus was overloaded. That's why we got stuck with the Benbo cheerleader. Shut up, Spivak. Yeah, you don't know me. She's about the only football player on the team that doesn't. Sid, shut up! Stop it, you guys! All right. Cut it out, you guys! Spivak, I've had just about enough out of you. Sorry, Miss Marsh. Dick. Cooper, what are you doing back there? Nothing. Well, keep doing it. Now, where are we? Uh, I think if we go left, we can get back on the freeway. Let's do it. I think we'll stick to our original plan, shall we? Yeah, get a clue, Spivak. Out of Cooper smoking. Coop! Cooper! What? Hey, Miss Marsh wants to know if you're smoking. No. No? No. He says no. Fine. Miss Marsh, are you sure we're headed the right way? Better check the map. Mm. 
do? Go the wrong way? Shut up, Spivik. But I think I know where we are. Quiet down, folks, and let me drive. Uh, or maybe not. What's going on? Power's gone. What is it? Damned if I know. You want me to check under the hood? Yes, Pitcher. Would you do that, you please? Got it. Miss Marsh, I think we're in the hood. No, we didn't go that way. Better check the map again. My mom's gonna kill me if I'm late again tonight. It's one of the more pleasant thoughts I've heard all day. Be quiet. Uh, give it a try! Alright, forget it. Give it up. What's the verdict? I don't know. I mean, it looks Detroit to me. Everything obviously isn't. Otherwise, we'd be moving by now, wouldn't we? Would you like to take a look at it, Spivik? Not me. I don't do it. All right, who's got a quarter? Oh, what's that noise? Sounds like a computer modem. Like you'd know? Give me. Want it? Give me the phone! Boys! Miss Marsh, I checked the map. I think we are in the Heights. Ah, so we're all the friendly neighborhood junkies. Hiding from your scary face. All right, let's go find another phone. Shouldn't we watch the band? I don't want to go. I'm not leaving anybody alone in this neighborhood. Let's go. You too, Cooper. I, uh, my, uh, my headphones don't work. Good. Then you can join the real world for a while. The planet Earth. How is it classified? Primitive. Dominant species? Human. Subject is an escaped criminal. Proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Anyone lives in these buildings? Yeah, Norman Bates and his mother. You actually think you're funny? Miss Marsh, why don't we just hotwire a car? Can the humor, Spivik. You okay, Miss Marsh? No. Where is Cooper? He was just here. Pitchell and Spivik, go back and find him. You got it. Is it just me or are things getting weird? Just you. He can't be far. We'll wait for you right here.
later. Miss Marsh, he's nowhere to be found. Get your butt over here, Cooper. <laughs> Cooper, okay. where were you? Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Spit it out, Coop. Okay, there's like a, there's like a, um, a monster made out of uh, lightning smoke uh, in, in the alleyway. <laughs> really? I don't doubt that. Come on, let's go find a phone. <laughs> This place gives me the creeps. Same thing. Hey, maybe there's someone in the office. There's a light on. Looks good, let's try it. Hello? 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 Looks like nobody's here. I guess we better keep walking. Please don't. Oh! Hello? It's very dangerous here. <laughs> yes, I know. Who are you? I am the caretaker of this warehouse. My name is Riker. It's all right. Please come up. Uh, I'm Chris Marsh, vice principal of Central High School. Our van broke down, and uh, I wonder if we might use your phone. Hey, do you got any food? Yeah, food. Of course. Follow me. Spivak? Charm School Dropout. This way, please. Miss Marsh, Leslie, it's okay. Hey, it is better than outside. Hey, check out the home defense system. Are they real? Oh, yes. What's the arsenal for? What do you use them for? I am a hunter and a collector. Can you see, or are you blind? I am totally blind. Yeah, but I am fine. I know where everything is. And there is more than one way to sense one's prey. Like, can you tell how many people are in the room? Six. But I... Not including myself. That's incredible. Yeah, and kind of dangerous, don't you think? I mean, how do you know you're not going to shoot another human being? Each species makes its own distinct sound when fleeing. That is a very unusual tobacco the young man is smoking. Cooper, put it out! Sorry, sir. I've heard that if you lose one sense, that the other senses become more highly developed. <laughs> Not if you're Cooper. There are compensations. A bat, for instance, may be blind. Uh, but its sonar system permits it to seek out moving prey while avoiding stationary objects. <laughs> that would be a remarkable accomplishment for a human being. I think we should just make our call and go. Of course. Uh, the phone is upstairs. I will call a taxi for you, uh, but in this area it takes them quite a while to respond. However, there is food in the kitchen and you may eat while you wait. Cool. Kitchell. Hey, um, can I use your bathroom? Not again, Cooper. No, oh, I really need it this time.
Who? Dude, what are you? Whatever. She should have been home hours ago. I know, I'm getting worried too. I, I think we ought to make a couple of calls. Cooper sure has taken a long time. Maybe this is all we can find, guys. Hey, Cooper. Everything come out all right? Cooper, are you okay? Oh, God. It's really in wacky land. Coop, are you all right? This way, Coop. Remember, your ancestors learned this a few million years ago. Way to ago. go, Cooper. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Coop. Nice manner. I think I'm gonna be sick. Bathroom's uh, down the hall. Well, I'll help you find it. Yeah, I bet. Shut up, Spivik. Miss Marsh! I agree, shut up. I'm trying to think. Hey, you really don't feel well? I didn't mean to stop you. Oh, that's cool, man. Where's the bathroom? Back door. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Get that? I'm eating. Well, I'm eating too. Tell you what, I'll flip you for it. Heads, you take it. Fine. Looks like heads. Two out of three. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Deal's a deal. Hello. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Jack Turner. Listen, I'm uh, I'm calling about my daughter. She isn't home yet, and uh, well, it, it's. It's just not like her to be this late. I mean, she was supposed to take the bus home right right after the game. We haven't had any accident reports. Uh, what's her name? Um, Carrie Turner. I, are, yeah, I know. Well, all right, that's Central High School. She's, she's only 17. Well, if we come across anything, I'll let you know, okay? Oh, fine, fine. Anything? Guy's daughter's a little late getting home. Probably out having a good time. Kids. Riker's taking a long time to make a phone call. What's he need all that stuff for? Bad neighborhood. Hey, no neighborhood's that bad. He said he was a collector. I am. You really hunt? Hunting is the supreme sport. 
Whenever possible, I use the weapons of the species I hunt. It's more exciting. You mean you put antlers on your head and wrestle down deer? Has somebody joined us? No. The taxi company said it may be more than an hour. I uh, thank you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Oh no, not at all. I'm usually alone. You have no idea how wonderful it is to have life around me. May I use your phone? I'd like to phone the parents and assure them everything is all right. Of course you may. Follow me. Stop. They're going to miss us. Nobody ever misses us. Come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Is something wrong? No, I, um, it, it's making that noise again. Oh, oh that, that is very unpleasant. <laughs> Shall we try later? Mr. Riker, how long have you lived here? Not very long. I don't stay anywhere very long. I like to travel. That must be difficult, I mean, considering your disability. I prefer challenge. <laughs> well, you certainly have one in this part of town. Oh, no offense. Oh, no offense taken, I assure you. I better check on the kids. Of course. Follow me. It's unfortunate. You've begun the game too soon. What do you mean by that? Eat and rest. We begin in an hour. What did he mean about a game? I don't know and I don't care. Let's go. Yes. Miss Marsh. He's got heads back there. He's got human heads. What? Yeah, right. Look. Oh my God. Are they real? Why don't you ask one? Who are the other ones for? Miss Marsh, is this a game? We're getting out of here now. Now! Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Get Cooper. Go to the door! Come on. Come on, Cooper. The prime targets humanoid bipeds. Indigenous weapons of species. Semi-automatic handgun. Single-shot projectile. Alternate weapon type. Primitive explosive rocket launcher. You are now fully activated to begin the game. Regenerative powers are in process. Do you understand? I'm teleporting back to Mothership. We'll continue transmission intermittently.
can rest here for a few moments. There's got to be someone around here. These buildings are all condemned from quake damage. It's completely deserted. What about homeless people, gang members? They're supposed to be all through the heights. What was that room? It's like a trophy room in a hunting lodge. Except that lunatic hunts humans, too. I don't get it. How can he hunt? He's blind. Yeah, it's not like he'd be any good at it. Maybe he drugs the food. I ate the food. Nobody's been drugged, okay? Hey, you guys can talk about this all you want, but I'm gone. It's Vivek, we're staying together. It's no good. I'm not stopping until I get home. Vivek, stay with us! <laughs> Hit something. What? Shh. Don't you hear that? It sounds like power lines. Exactly. There are no lines here. What the hell was that? An electromagnetic force field functioning as a repellent against any solid object. When did you get so smart, Cooper? You mean like a barrier? Uh, I, I, I guess. Keep people out? Or to keep us in. Warning! Warning! Zone 3! Escape attempt! Fail! Shields intact! We've gotta keep moving! We've gotta get out of here! Calm down! There's this thing in the alley. Biker? I didn't get a good look at it, but it had all those weapons. It was moving fast. Whoever it was is gone now. Can you stand up? What hit me? We're still trying to figure that one out. We can hear this thing. Maybe we can find a way around it. Well, what about Riker? We still have the advantage there. We can see him, but he can't see us. Come on. Doesn't this thing ever end? No. I think Riker's warehouse is in the center of this barrier. In which case, according to the street signs, we've been traveling in an arc. You mean the barrier's circular? Precisely. If we continue to follow this around, we'll eventually reach the point at which we started. You think Riker could be responsible for this? 
Like that orb puts up, I don't know, some kind of force field or something? I don't know how a person could have the power to do this. Well, somebody does. Captain targets. If this barrier goes all the way around, that means we're trapped. And that pretty much eliminates our options. If we can't run, we're gonna have to fight. Someone has got to know about this barrier. Someone has got to know that we're in here. No one comes to this part of town unless they're lost. Like I said, we're gonna have to take care of ourselves. We have to fight. We can't even win a stinking football game. Look, there's a lot of things I don't understand. But this much I do. He's one person, blind. Hell, there's six of us. He's armed, so are we. Now come on, let's blow this guy away. Lock! Well now what are we gonna do? Shut up, Spivik. Dick. We have to go back, come on. Try that door over there. Come on, you Let's guys. Hurry, Cooper. Cooper. Hurry. Carrie, squeeze oh, through. I got you, Cooper. Oh, Come on, you guys. Oh, no. Hurry, hurry. Oh, my God. Get down. Miss Marsh. Pitchell, she got hit! Marsh! No! No! Up here! Trying to stay alive. Running. Like I said, every species makes a distinct sound while fleeing. Yeah, well, I think we should keep making that sound. No, we gotta get back to the others. Is she dead? Where's the rifle? Carrie has it. What was that thing? I don't know. It's wearing the same red light Riker had on. Maybe it's him. But it didn't look human. Oh great, it's raining. How's it doing that inside the barrier? Adam well, must be able to get in. Maybe better, he controls it. Turns it on and off whenever he wants. I don't even want to know. Look, you're right. We've got to find the others. We've got the only gun. We need to find some lights. Great, Coop. Got anything bigger?
Where did you? In, in the van. They're great at concerts. Oh no, it's a dead end! Right over there! Maybe when I shot it, it weakened the barrier. What about the others? You think they got out? I don't know, but let's go get help. Time lapse, 11 kilos. Room major. Game on hold for regeneration. Bringing that in would be a good idea. Maybe you're right. Would you mind repeating that? Look, Miss Marsh is dead. And our friends are in trouble. I mean the part about the space monster. It collects heads. Human heads. Look, you've got to believe us. We'd like to believe you. It's just that well, nothing unusual has been reported, like gunshots. Probably the force field. Force field. You know your dad called here wondering where you were? We'll take you to her body. Look, you gotta help us. If you don't believe us, we'll show you. It's been a slow night, John. Let's go. And this better be good. Wound regenerated. Resume game. No, my perfume!
way. You sure this is a place? Yeah. yeah. There's no blood. Maybe you guys have the wrong alley. It was here. Maybe that thing's still alive. Look, I've had enough fun for one night. You can't leave. What about our friends? Well, we can find Miss Marsh's body. Look, I'm taking you back to the station, young lady. Your father's <laughs> worried about us. you now. Come on, move it. Let's go, guys. Come on! Come on! You guys put something on. This stuff? Yeah, this stuff. Okay, okay. If you're out of it this long, Coop, that must have been pretty good dough. Why didn't it attack us? You didn't hear that yelling? I was too scared. It was Pitchell and Carrie. It's after them now. Dad's gonna be here soon. I can't stop wondering if they're all right. We could go back. Is the rifle still up front? You guys could use some coffee. Hey, you guys. Looks like you lost a couple over here. that creature? We don't know, but the barrier's back up. The thing's not human. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. Is it some kind of alien? Maybe it's a government experiment. No. Hey, Coop. Maybe it's that uh, smoke monster you were talking about, huh? No. No, I, I, I don't think so. We can figure this out later. So what do we do now? All right, I say we go back to the warehouse. Any particular reason, or do you think it'd be cozy? Look, the barrier's got to have some kind of a power source, right? Maybe it's that light thing we saw. Come on. Wait! Let's go get the orb.
couldn't have gotten far, John. And this time I say we book them. They're just kids. But first, we gotta catch them. I got a bad feeling about this. You can say that again. Sure, that thing controlled the barrier. We checked the whole warehouse. It's the only power source we could find. There's no phones here. Riker was lying. Duh! Like you believed him? Less than six hours ago, we walked up those steps. Ms. Marsh was still alive. be okay.
while. I mean, if we live that long. Mitchell, you okay? Won't anything kill it? I don't think that arrow's gonna hold it too long. Just if we have enough time to get back to the van. The van? We knocked out the barrier, so maybe the van will start and we can get out of here. That's a pretty big maybe. Hell, it's the best plan we've got. Come on, Pitch. Come on. Come on, man, let's go. Come on. Won't stop that alien, but nothing can withstand fire. What are you talking about? We need to get the hell out of here. The barrier's a couple blocks that way. Let's get out of here and see if it's still there. It was here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm the one that found it. Wait a minute. I can't believe it's still up. We destroyed that light thing. Riker must have fixed it. Or maybe it doesn't power the barrier. Then we shouldn't be out in the open. Come on, guys. We can figure this out. We can do it. Look at us, Spivak. We're not exactly the first string, okay? Yeah, but this isn't a game. It is to that creature. And have you ever known us to win a game? What did you say about fire? so far? This will be six. We could use another dozen. Around here, that's not going to be too hard. Hey, Pitch, come here. What's that look like to you? Looks like an alley. Nah, use your imagination. If we get on the roof, we could trap the alien. That's a good idea. Carrie. Look, if we get the thing up there, it falls through the roof, then we can hit it with the firebombs. Nothing can live through that. Well, how do we get it on the roof? Oh, well, this is the good part. Well, we'd be the bait. And we need a way to confuse the sonar. Foil. What? Foil? I have a cousin who used to make tinfoil hats out of foil to stop our radar waves. You know, homeless people love it. That and, and string. It could work. It's worth a try. Let's do it. Come on. Let's <laughs> Need more time. I know. How about I buy us the time? You sure? Bolts won't kill it, but it'll slow it down. Let's go. This is not a good plan. We're playing on that thing's home field. Don't worry. You forgot I've already seen you shoot. I'm improving the practice. Did you say that to all the cheerleaders? I do. This is an 
a direct line with the warehouse. It'll come through here. You know, if we get out of here, I'm thinking of becoming a soldier of fortune. Terrific. No, 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 really. I'd be good at it. Look over there. This would be a good spot to set up an ambush. That building looks like it's in really bad shape. We step inside there, it'll fall apart. One bit. Your own. Break the window. It's your call. We gotta get on the roof. There's gotta be a stairway in here. Pull the gun. Watch my back. Someone's coming, get out! Carrie, wait! Well, at least we know the triple heart works. Where's Spivik? Dead. Where's the alien? Behind me. All right, look, everything's set up. We can hide behind those air conditioners, okay? Let's go. Too late. Oh, God! Quick, let's go! Let's go! Come on! Where's the wire? Where's the lighter? Spivik at it! What? What are we doing hanging around? Let's go. I don't trust it. You don't have to trust it. It's dead. That's what we thought before. Forget it. We won, okay? Mitchell. I'm gonna chop that thing to pieces.
step. It's as hard as a rock. It's growing. I think it's healing itself. How long do you think that'll take? Four or five minutes? I don't know, but we don't want to be here. Let's get out of here. Come on. Morning soon. Like we're gonna see it. We can't give up now. There's gotta be a way to kill that thing. Did you see that thing? We can't kill it. Oh, that sound. Time elapsed. 16 kilos. Regeneration in process. We're dead. We are so dead. That thing can kill us anytime it wants. What if we just don't move? The creature is equipped with heat-seeking sensors. While the data is collected by an input overload of other sensors, you will lack a room for lonely its appetite in their Who the hell are you? You're not Cooper. The Cooper entity and I are cohabitating the same human Cooper, who the hell have we been talking to? I'm an alien entity. Survival. Huh. Done a hell of a job so far. Well, maybe for the sake of our survival, you better tell us what the hell's going on here, huh? The creature comes from the species that thinks of hunting sentient beings as a sport when it came to our world. We imprisoned it. How did it get here? The alien escaped through space wrap making a world. I am to terminate the creature any way possible. Well, don't you think you better get your ass in gear? I mean, we're dying here, man! Understand. Understand. This creature is not like our species. It has adapted much more to a material world. Also, chemical impurities in this body have prohibited me from functioning at full capacity. Boom, regenerated. Resume the game. Listen, Cooper, I don't know, whoever you are, how do we kill this thing? There is no way. Alert. Alien approaching northwest. Danger. Danger. The end. Sixteen key logs. Who 
Two targets remaining. Resume game. We gotta jump! This is too far away! We're dead! Stop saying that! Get out! Taking care of me. Um, tell my mom that I love her, and uh, I'll see her again someday. <laughs> <laughs> 